You can add many kinds of shapes to a Google Drawings canvas. Basic shapes include circles, squares, polygons, and triangles. More creative shapes include clouds, stars, banners, and balloons. You can edit many shapes you've drawn to have rounded or even beveled corners. You can also change a shape's border and fill color. You've already begun a diagram representing a new backyard landscape design. Now you're ready to add some more shapes to the diagram and then modify them. The diagram we are creating represents a backyard landscape. There is already a curved line shape for the pond and a dashed line representing the fence. Let's add a shape for the deck, which will go near the lower left corner of the canvas. We'll use the Shape button on the toolbar. You can see that there are a lot of different shapes in this palette to choose from. If you place your mouse pointer over a shape, Rollover Text pops up to describe the shape type. We want to add an L-shaped deck, so let's choose the L-shape, which is in the second section. Now we need to draw the deck. This can be done by clicking and dragging the shape in the area where we want it to appear. The deck will go at the front of the yard, which is the lower left area of the canvas. We've included boxes to show where to start and stop the drawing. If we didn't like our shape, we could click the Undo button to delete it and then try again. We did a good job with this L shape, but the top of the L should be wider. We could click and drag one of the square, white selection handles to resize the entire shape. However, since we want to resize only a portion of the shape, we'll click and drag one of the diamond-shaped yellow handles instead. We've added a box to indicate how far to draw. The deck looks a lot better, but we need to position it a little differently, with the cutout corner facing the bottom of our drawing. Let's rotate it so that it orients in the opposite direction. To do this, we can use a command on the Format menu. We want to keep the deck in its current position, but flip it so that the cutout corner is facing the bottom of our drawing. Now that the deck is done, let's add another shape. We already have a pond on the canvas, so let's add a palm tree next to it. We need a shape to represent the branches of a palm tree. Let's pick a shape in the next-to-last section that looks like an explosion to see how it will look. We can draw this shape like any other shape. We just click and drag in the area where the shape needs to appear. We're going to place this shape over the upper right edge of the pond. We've added boxes to help indicate where to click and drag. The palm tree is in the correct position, but it is the wrong color. We can change both the line and fill color using the buttons on the toolbar. Let's start with the line color. Let's make the line color a dark green so that the palm tree is more realistic. This looks a lot better. 
Let's go ahead and change the fill color too. Let's use a brighter green color for the fill so that the palm tree really stands out. Now that it's green, it looks more like a tree. The landscape design could definitely use some more plants, so let's add some bushes to the drawing too. With so many shape choices, we can choose the best shape to represent an object in our drawing. For the bushes, let's use the cloud shape in the second section. Remember, if you need help finding a shape in Google Drawings, hover your mouse pointer over a shape and rollover text will identify the shape. We want to place the shape for the bush in the upper left corner of the canvas, just below the fence line. Instead of clicking and dragging to create a shape, we'll just click where we want to place a default sized shape. Although we could easily resize the shape if we wanted to, the current size seems fine. We need to add some more bushes of the same size and shape, but we don't have to draw each one individually. We can select a shape that we've drawn and duplicate it to save time. The shape is still selected, so let's go ahead and choose the Duplicate command on the Edit menu. The duplicated bush is now on top of the first bush, which doesn't really work. Let's move the new one next to the first one. If you click Next, we'll move it for you. As the shape moves, watch for red lines to appear. Did you see the red lines that appeared as we dragged the shape? These are the drawing guides, and they help align our objects so that they are positioned precisely where we want them. In this case, they snapped our second bush to the canvas grid in line with the first bush. This diagram is looking great, so let's save it for now so that we can work on it some more later. You've now seen how simple it is to add, move, and format shapes in a Google Drawing. With your work saved online, you can now share it with others or access it later and add more to it.